Hello to all of you us. Welcome to Nisha Lakshmi World. Hope you all are doing good. Today we bring to you sagu masala. This is a delicious and a scrumptious dish as it is made by stuffing vegetable sagu inside the dosa. Typically sagu goes as an accompaniment for puri or rotis, but when had with dosa in this manner, it will make you crave for more. Also, this sagu masala is available in very few famous restaurants across Bangalore. Please give this recipe a try and you will enjoy every bit of it. So, let's check out the recipe. Please do consider to like, share, comment, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified on our new videos published. First, for the dosa batter, I shall soak all the ingredients together in a large vessel. So, I shall be taking 3.5 cups of idli rice, 1 cup of whole urad dal 1 cup of moong dal 1 cup of chana dal 1 cup of tur dal and 1 cup of poha now wash it thoroughly multiple times. Pour enough water and soak it for at least 8 hours. As it's been soaking for 8 hours now, I shall be grinding all the ingredients. Add water as needed to grind the batter and grind it into a smooth paste. Now, I shall be transferring the ground batter to a large vessel. And I shall be grinding the remaining soaked dal and rice in the same manner. Here I have transferred all the batter to the vessel. To this, you can add desired amount of salt and half teaspoon of baking soda mix it well and allow the batter to ferment for at least 12 to 13 hours as it's been more than 13 hours now let's take a look on how our dosa batter has been fermented it has well fermented and the batter is so light and fluffy. Now 
as the batter is quite thick i shall be adding some water to bring it to the right consistency now our dosa batter is ready but before i prepare the dosa i need to make a chutney as this chutney will be used to spread on the dosa for this in a mixer jar i shall be adding 1 cup of grated coconut quarter cup of fried gram 3 cloves of garlic 3 cloves half an inch of cinnamon lime size of tamarind 6 green chilies or according to your spice tolerance a fistful of coriander leaves sufficient amount of water salt according to taste and shall grind it into a fine paste now our ground chutney is ready i shall be transferring it into a bowl now let's heat up a tawa Once the tawa is heated, splash in some water. Wipe off the excess water. Now take a ladle full of batter, pour it at the center of the tawa. Then spread in a circular motion outward towards the edge of the tawa. pour in generous amount of ghee and keep the heat on medium once you see the dosa changing the color take a spoonful of green chutney and spread it uniformly all over the dosa at this time lower the heat once you have spread the chutney completely add the desired amount of sago at the side of the dosa and fold the dosa In the same manner I shall be doing the remaining dosas. crispy tasty delicious sagu masala is ready to be enjoyed give this recipe a try and post your comments in the comment section below if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family thank you so much for watching